So, okay, so to the novice investor or to the beginner investor, how does one read the news? How does one read the announcements? How does one read the financial reports and the announcements um, to get a good sense of where a stock is going and its health? Are there principles behind that? Okay. In other words, the gearing level has to be... The debt levels. The debt. So, so this is the first thing you look yeah. at? Debt vis-a-vis the shareholders funds equity. So in other words, it mustn't be too highly geared. You know? So unless, of course, you're building like, like press metal. When they built the, the aluminum the smelter business in Strava, that was the best deal ever, man. You know, they <laughs> borrowed like, what, one billion, and they, and now the press metal is worth 25 billion. I mean, Tansu Paul couldn't, we were drinking about 15 years ago, his company was worth, the market cap was, what, 400 million? Yeah. So you've got to borrow the right business for the right reasons that, you know. But in any case, I try to make sure, in generally, these companies are highly geared, okay? Okay, other than debt levels, what do you look at? What do you look at? Uh, scalability. So, like I told you, I, I don't want a situation where it's a fantastic business, but always remain like uh, one, one shop lot type of business, you know. So I was thinking, you know, Penang, and I was thinking, you know that guy in Penang Street, the Penang Chendol and all that? The Chendol guy, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. It's a fantastic, fantastic business. But he can only be one. No, it's still scalable. You find everywhere in the outlets. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's very scalable. Like Ron Buffett says, it has to have the brand equity, the franchise, you know. Yeah. The franchise is very important. In other words, it can't be a business where everyone can duplicate, you know. Else you won't have any competitive advantage. Yeah. You need to have a the, the mode, so to speak. <laughs>